What's happening, KJ Mob? It's your girl, Kaylee J. Back in the cuts once again with another video. Okay, so everyone is asleep, so I'm not gonna talk loud. But I'm gonna edit it so y'all can hear. I like the hair and the makeup. Makeup by me. All right, y'all, so we are going to talk about, drum roll, sex ed in a long time, but you know what, let's get high and talk about it, okay? So before I get into the topic, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into this video. All right, y'all. So, this is like the myth of like, you know, sex or whatever. I don't know if I can say that word. So, I'm going to say doing the nasty because I don't know if I can say that on YouTube yet or at all. But, um, so, this is a lot of myths that they say. Oh, it don't hurt or um after like your second or third try like you should be you shouldn't be tight totally not true um it does hurt your all your vagina is always gonna tighten back up that's majority of what I heard before I lost mine but I just feel like people just be telling lies and it's just not true. So anyways, um, anyways, let's, you know, I'm about to be on that Zaza. Okay. I'm gonna go get it my pen because I don't have a you know what I'm trying to say so let's get into it I need a thumbnail I always forget to do a thumbnail so let me do my thumbnail okay I think I'm done I might do some more but let's get into it um so I guess I'll do a little bit of my experiences or whatever. This is so cringe. I don't know, like, um, orgasms or real guys, <laughs> orgasms or real, um, having a woman you know, um, I don't know if I can say that word, so I'm gonna bleep it out. Having a woman come for the first time feels like you are about to pee, and it's crazy. But, um, anyways, um, you come, like, you know, squirt or you cream. Personally, Personally, I squirted and it feels like you're about to pee and then you pee. Like people say, oh, it's pee. Like, no, it's not. It's not pee. I can explain it, but it's not pee. I peed after though, for sure. I didn't pee on nobody. Like a lot of people say it's pee, it's not pee. Um, because it comes from your vagina hole and not the hole that you pee from, if that makes sense. Um, did I have an orgasm before? I think one time, like, I think with my baby daddy, I think I had an orgasm. <sighs> Anyways, um, I don't know why a lot of females think they could take a big penis 
no 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 you don't want to start off with a big one you want to start off i know it's embarrassing but you want to start off with like a small one just 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 for your first experience you ain't gotta keep you know going but i just feel like small made me orgasm than average in a big one like i don't know i just i just be turned off okay um i don't know about giving you know because I personally don't be turned on by that, so I really don't do it, but maybe one day then we could talk about it, but for right now, I'm not going to talk about that, um, STDs, um, are real guys, um, and I feel like y'all should get checked before every partner, not just after, because people are nasty. And these guys and girls do not tell you they have one. Everybody think it's embarrassing to talk about when really it's not like it's common. Like, you know, I had a few, but like, I'm not, I don't have them anymore. Like they're curable. But if you have sex multiple times, you can get it faster than others if you had it before. Um, But for the ones that end up getting you know std or sti because there are stis i had one before it's called trichomonosis it's like a parasite and i never knew until i got pregnant and like you guys just have to be safe i know i'm being very vulnerable with you guys and a lot of people don't do that so just bear with me okay but um yeah like you have to be careful with the stds the stis like i would say you guys get checked before y'all do to do because they are real um y'all could just look up the pictures i'm not gonna post pictures like oh, here's a picture like no you should learn that in sex ed but i'm here to expose sex ed and tell you guys what the myths are and if you already had you know doing a nasty this video is not for you this video is for the well i mean you could still learn something i guess um this video is for the the versions i guess um i'm not gonna tell you guys my body count because it's not high you know it's low but like What's, what's the point because then y'all gonna want to try and try something with me like no but just know it, my body counts on one hand that's all you need to know but um so you have to really be careful of your partner like a lot of people say like it don't hurt like i said but it really does it really does hurt you can bleed if they you know penetrate too hard a guy should never ever like pound you like this i'm not gonna do the circle because i don't want to get banned but they should not do this especially if they're big they should not do this that is penetrating your um your uterus up there and they're gonna hurt your cervix and it's not going to be good, like going fast and going for hours. No, that they should not do that. I would say a good 15 minutes for me. Like, I don't want to do it for that long. I don't know. Like, I just get turned off by sex. I do. I get turned off very easily. And all I can say is know your body. Know, like, your partner. You know, ask questions, um, speak up, tell them, hey, I don't like this, and switch positions or whatever. You know, because I do that. Like, I'm very vocal. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to hurt these niggas' egos. That make them they make them do it better. Like, Nick Minar said, something like that. <laughs> like, they do do it better when you be like, uh-uh, I don't like that. And then they do something else. And 
you know but um, i would recommend just doing it with a toy first so you can get comfortable with your body or your fingers or whatever you want to do um i don't know if you guys have ever you know did the nasty with yourself i don't even know if i could say that m word but i tried it some people try with toys some people try with fingers um i tried it with my fingers it's actually not bad like i climax faster when i do it with myself it's weird like you know your spots you know what you like and all that so <laughs> like i did it with myself like i'm not ashamed like i mean myself you know in like a few seconds actually like it's not hard to make a woman you know climax i'm gonna say climax because i don't know if i can say these words on here but um yeah like i'm really open with you guys so please don't be embarrassed like it's normal like guys do it why can't females do it like always be trying to embarrass people like everything we do is normal poop is normal doing a nasty is normal like and doing it with yourself is normal is safer than doing it with somebody else like and you get horny and go to sleep you do what you gotta do go to sleep and you ain't gotta worry about like giving another body away or giving out an old body and they could have gave you something like you don't want to go back and forth with it at all but i really do um feel like it's better with someone that really care about you and that you know y'all are together in a relationship um my first time that I lost my V card um, was when I was 18. A lot of people would be like, a lot of people my age at that time was already giving it up in high school, probably earlier than that. But um, don't be a follower. Don't don't follow what your friends doing. Make sure you're ready when you're ready because there is a such thing as peer pressure and um. I feel like I didn't really have peer pressure, you know, I wanted to try it, but I feel like how it happened, I felt like, okay, like, I'm nervous, you know, so, yeah, um, I lost mine to an ex-boyfriend, so, yeah, and then, usually, like, a lot of women, after they lose their V-card, they, like, go crazy with it. I didn't go crazy with it after that i was just i was just like eh i'm over it um my second time i i don't remember who was my second do i i just i don't remember the order but um my ex-boyfriend <laughs> half of these guys was even my boyfriend y'all but girls hit it and quit it too okay that's another thing y'all need to know. Girls hit it and quit it too. Um, I have a couple. Actually, I have three. <laughs> I have three that I hit it and quit it. Or like, not even hit it and quit it. They, you know, gave me, you know, down there and yeah, it's, it's just it's, one of them is just you know but the other one was my ex-boyfriend and he he did good he was the first he was the first to do good in my book because my first time I didn't have when I first did the nasty I didn't have down here so my second time I had down here and it was lovely my first time <laughs> He's probably never gonna watch this. I think he you know who I'm talking about, but 
You were one of the best. And <laughs> third time, I'm sharing my experiences with y'all. So y'all better appreciate this and blow this video up. But um, um, it was he made me, you know, climax. It was cool. He came in like the first three minutes off the tip. Is that too much info? I'm gonna bleep this out. Like, but anyways, um, yeah, my second time, um, getting down there. He was much like <laughs> we don't talk no more but he was a munch he was a munch and it was real good i sat on it i sat on that face that's the position right there i don't know i never climax off a head so I don't know head just I mean it turned me on a little bit but down here it turned me on more so I'm just saying <laughs> no shade with it I'm just kidding but no for real like you know down there you know can I say it Hit, you know it's it's cool but I had skin peeling sorry but you know it's cool down here I don't know I just feel like a guy never really turned me on that much to give him you know I tried it one time and I was just like, I can't do it. I'm not saying that's nasty, but I just wasn't turned on enough. I really wasn't. I don't know y'all gonna look at me like. Like really? You could say those dumb comments for somebody else. Because I needed some new content y'all like i had to be juicy i had to give y'all the raw and uncut again because every time i talk about some crazy stuff y'all tap in so i'm glad you guys love the drama because i don't know something's coming up that i can't say All right, your girl is back and better. And I think that's really about it. In this video, like, comment, subscribe. And I think we're done here. If y'all like this video, y'all want more, just let me know because your girl ran out of content and I know you guys miss me and y'all love watching me in, I don't know, YouTube. I just, I just miss you guys, like, just trying to get motivated, like, I did my makeup because I'm bringing a vlog because I'm about to turn up KJ Mob or what? No Mob, period. See y'all my next one, bye.